Nearly 3,000 people died on 9-11, including 343 FDNY firefighters. Thousands of other firefighters worked at Ground Zero, including with me now, retired Lieutenant Steve Mormino. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, as we are about to mark 20 years, what's going through your mind? Um, a lot of emotion. You know, 20 years went by very, very quickly. And you never forget. You still hear the sounds. You still smell the smells. And you remember a lot of the stories of what went on during that time. And you worked on Ground Zero. I did. How soon after the towers came down were you there? Um, because I was in another section of the city, I didn't get to the towers until after midnight from the 11th into the 12th. And then it was um, working through the night and then 24 hours off and then start again in another 24 hour shift. And how often do you think back on that day going oh, through your everyday life? All the time. There's always something that comes up, uh, a name is mentioned, it's, it's a memory that'll never go away. And you are here in, in Cincinnati because you're joining with the Loveland community to help remember 9-11 here locally. How did you get connected with the firefighters and uh, police officers in Loveland? At a firefighters conference, um, just after the Trade Center collapse, I met Chief Billy Goldfeder and we struck up a friendship because he has New York roots. And um, when they had their first memorial in 2002, he said, would you mind coming to represent the FDNY? And I said, I would be honored to do that. And you and Danny Bovey, who was a fellow firefighter, were here. Sadly, he, he passed away from 9-11 cancer. Yes, he did in 2018. A lot of firefighters have had emotional, physical scars. What has it been like personally for you? Um, it's been tough because you constantly relive it. And when you go down to the site, if you're anywhere near there, all of the memories begin and come back. You know, and I think about every time I go for a medical exam, um, what are they gonna come up with? Right now, uh, we know that 343 died on that day, but 257 firefighters have died since then from medical ailments. So it's always a reminder that um, something could happen at any time. And why come to Cincinnati? You could have spent the 20th anniversary with your fellow firefighters in New York. Why here? Um, being such a highly emotional time, especially in the city, um, I would prefer to be with some close family and friends and, uh, um, and be able to represent uh, my department here because Loveland has done a phenomenal job and they vowed never to forget and they've proven it. And you will speak tomorrow in Loveland. Um, as 20 years goes on, another generation of kids grows up. You are here to remind them what happened. What will be part of your message tomorrow? One is to never forget. The other is to honor the memories of those people because they all had families. Um, and then a life of service. There's no better feeling in the world than helping somebody in times of crisis. So if you are looking for a job that would make you feel good, then a first responder is, is definitely a great place to be. Uh, your lovely wife is here with you. Um, will that be important to kind of connect with family tomorrow as you wake up in the morning Absolutely. and think back? Absolutely. It's always good to have the people closest to you be here. All right. Lieutenant Steve Mormino, I'm sorry. Yes. I apologize for that. That's thank okay. you so much for your service and thank you for coming to our community. My pleasure. He will join the Loveland community to mark this somber anniversary as they keep their promise to never forget. It starts with the parade at five, then a ceremony, music at seven. This is all happening on Harrison Avenue at the Police and Fire Memorial. Liz, over to you.